God bless you today. I'm going to share a dream that the Lord gave me on November 26th, just a couple days ago. Uh, but before I share this dream about President Trump and a specific uh, targeted agenda against him, and specifically this agenda is against him being able to be out in the public um, in the months ahead, we're going to talk about that. But before we do, uh, the Lord reminded me today as I prepared for this to pray, to stop, to stand firm in the word of the Lord and actually pray for the peace of Jerusalem as the word of God commands us to. And the heart of God is, uh, that is the passion on the heart of the Lord in this hour is for his people to stand in agreement and solidarity and praying for the peace of Israel, for the protection of Israel. And so we're going to read Psalm 122. Uh, six through nine together in decree in agreement with the word of God. The word of God is eternal. And this, the, so his word is reverberating throughout eternity. And we are standing today to join in echoing and agreeing and speaking forth the word of God into the earth because we know it is his will. So starting in verse six, it says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they be secure who love you. Peace be within your walls and security within your towers. For my brothers and companions sake, I will say peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. And so Father, we come in agreement with your word and what your principle, what your heart is. It, and then we see in scripture and we say, yes, Lord, peace be upon Jerusalem. Peace be in your people's cities, in the nation of Israel. I see your angelic host being released as we decree these things to go and assist in protecting and guarding and directing your people Israel in this very hour, in this very moment. And we praise you for that. We thank you for that. And we love you, Lord. We praise you today in Jesus' name. Amen. So the dream that I had, also the reason that the Lord had me uh, speak this specific decree in this video is because the, the Lord showed me back in 2020 a, the anointing and that his hand is upon President Trump is connected to the preservation and the prospering and the blessing that is on Israel and there is a connection there is it can't be broken apart and that as we pray for President Trump, we pray for Israel. As we pray for Israel, we should pray for President Trump. And so um, this is also a reason that I wanted to release that decree in this very video. I'm going to put a link to the dream that I had of the anointing on President Trump to be a fa like a father to Israel and to the people of God, not just in Israel, but to those who've been grafted in. Um, as a father, a protector over them in this very hour. I'm going to put a link to that. But the dream that I had on November 26th, I was actually at, I found myself standing at a Trump uh, campaign event. It was like uh, one, the rally or the public event where he was going to speak um, to continue going around the nation speaking truth, but also in preparation for the upcoming election next year and when I saw him the Lord actually in the dream used me to bring encouragement in the spirit to him I was with others and we uh, surrounded President Trump and embraced him and encouraged him to keep going we we thanked him for all that he was doing um, that ha he has been doing and the uh, attacks after attacks that have been coming against him and for a while, I walked alongside him as he was heading to the stage of this event to bring encouragement in the spirit to him. And But as we got closer, we found out that the event had been canceled. And I heard, as we were walking, I heard a news announcement being announced that said that this event would be canceled because of flooding that was happening in the streets. Now... As I heard this, I saw like a video screen of uh, a flood, floodwaters flooding the streets around us. But as I saw it, I told the people around me, I said, that's a replay. That's something that has already happened um, and they're just replaying it. And, um, and I was very upset and, and you know angry because I knew that it was an agenda. It was something being released 
um, to stop President Trump from being able to continue in being public and being able to hold these uh, very important campaign events. And that was the end of the dream. And when I woke up and sat with the Lord about it, I saw um, he showed me that this replay event was um, was that the, the plan of the enemy is to actually replay the rioting that happened in 2020 leading up to that election, that there was going to be an attempt to replay that rioting to stop him from being able to do any, any future events up until November of next year. And that the floodwaters that I saw were actually the, the, the flooding of people, the flooding of protesters and the streets. And that is what um, I sat, as I sat with the Lord, that's what he was showing me, piecing together for me. Now, I don't have full understanding um, of, of when this will happen and if the floodwaters are just specific to the protesters um, and people flooding the streets um, to stop these campaign events. Uh, from being able to happen, but whatever else is included in that agenda, that plan, just like there was so many agendas in the months leading up to the 2020 election to stop uh, President Trump, we're, we're seeing a replay of that. But this, this specific agenda would stop, is to stop him from being able to publicly campaign in the months ahead. So I want you to join me in uh, praying over President Trump and his team and, and his family and those um, who are working with him for their safety, for their protection, uh, but also that the Lord would, that the will of the Lord would not be stopped no matter what these agendas are, that the hand of the Lord is upon him and that the truth and exposure that is going to be brought forth because of the hand of God being on him, it hasn't left him, that that truth and exposure would still come forth no matter what the enemy and these evil, wicked schemers are planning. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just lift up your son, President Trump, to you. We thank you that your hand is upon him, that your angels stand guard, a very, um, very well-dressed, um, well-secured, uh, guarding angels standing around him. Hallelujah. We thank you that they are prepared for battle. They are, they are vigilant and prepared for the attacks and the arrows of the enemy. So they will not touch this man or his family or his team. We thank you, Lord, for that protection that has already been secured. We thank you that your hand of peace and anointing is heavy upon him. And we just decree that any plan of the enemy to try to come against him, try to stop him, try any attempt of the enemy to thwart your plans for his life and your call on him in this hour uh, would be stopped in the name of Jesus. We speak the blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus over this man, over his, his destiny, his anointing. And we pray that your ministering angels would go and minister encouragement and restoration and sleep and rest and uh, physical health and strength to him and his wife specifically uh, in this time. And we thank you, Lord, that all of the plans of heaven over him and over this hour in the earth are yes and amen. And we come in agreement with them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.